Hey guys, so today we are going to review some Arteza products that Arteza sent me. And we are also going to be having a giveaway of this 60 gouache color set. So stay tuned for that part of the video. So they have actually sent me a set before. This was a 24 set and I organized it in this case. And I've been using them ever since. I actually have a previous video where I specifically already reviewed these gouache paints. So you can click on that now if you want to see that. But today's main review will be this sketchbook that they sent me. It's a watercolor sketchbook. It's actually a smaller one. Each page is 5.5 by 3.5 inches. Alright, so let's open it up. So this is actually a pack of two sketchbooks. Uh, if you go to their website, it's about $15 for both. I'll be adding my affiliate link in the description if you want to support this channel. Oh, and also you will be having a 10% off coupon, and so check it out. So I'm also planning to give out this extra sketchbook on my Instagram account or something else. I'm pretty close to 10k followers and as soon as I reach my goal, I will have a giveaway. Alright, so let's begin the review. The sketchbook was actually really well packaged. Um, so let's open it up now. Okay, this elastic band is actually pretty tight, which I would consider to be a good thing. This is a watercolor sketchbook. So the paper is 110 pounds with 230 GM, so it should be able to handle it pretty good. Hmm, okay, so I didn't expect this. Alright, well let's take this out. It looks like, oh, there's advertisements on the back for more of their products, I guess. Interesting. Okay, so this is a plastic pouch. I mean, I've seen another sketchbook with this. It looks pretty nice this sketchbook is fancier than I thought oh look if lost please return to and as a reward hmm okay so it's time to test this out with watercolors oh also the covers made out of fabric which is pretty nice okay so to begin I have already sketched a doggy this is a Shiba Inu the famous Japanese dog you might recognize him from the different memes and the dodge coin He's a nice orange colored dog. Now I am starting with watercolors, but I will be moving on to a separate painting where I will be using the Arteza gouache paints to see how that works compared to the watercolors. Now with watercolors, I always start off with a light wash and that is what you're supposed to do with watercolors because you cannot paint over them. They are not opaque enough, so mistakes can be made if you start with darker colors. Now with gouache on the other hand, it's a bit of a different story because the opacity allows you to paint over them and you will see that later on. But enjoy this process as I layer on the different colors and form the doggo doggy dodge meme dog. Yeah, I have decided not to edit that out. <laughs> so here I started working with the detail of the dog with the same brush size so I have to be extra careful not to mess it up because like I said this is watercolor and messing up is uh, not an option as erasing it would be very difficult or painting over it would be very difficult. Alright enjoy the rest of this process as I speed up the video. So this is the final finished doggy. Now let's check out how well the paper did. Alright, so there is some warping, but it's actually very minimal, which is surprising since this is not 300 pound paper. Um, and there also seems to be nothing bleeding through the back. So this is actually pretty decent for watercolor. And now let's move on to gouache and I have already previously sketched out a palm tree. Now I actually s decided to start with a watercolor wash to really test uh, the paper since the whole paper will be completely wet and with the doggy painting I didn't uh, completely wet the paper. Now with the wash paint I can completely turn the process of painting in reverse by starting out with darker paints because this paint is opaque enough that I can move on to lighter colors and layer them on top of the darker colors, which I actually prefer at the moment. 
Now I will also be speeding up this video so that you can enjoy the final product and I will start now. Alrighty then, we are about done and let's take a look at the whole painting now. Now as you can tell I had to add clips at the ends of the paper and this is because the paper was warping. So let's look at it from the side now. As you can tell it is warped. However, this is when the elastic band becomes very useful because it's a very tight fit, it keeps the book very shut, and the paper's very flat, and I think that will help keep the papers flat. Okay, note to self, do not close the sketchbook if the painting is not completely dry. As you can see that mark I left. Actually, I'll just try to fix that quickly before it completely dries. Okay, that's the best I could do, but for next time I'll be more careful. Alright guys, the giveaway is pretty simple. You just have to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below what you would like me to review next. The giveaway will be open to enter throughout the month of December, and the winner will be chosen the first week of January 2020. Look for more details in the description below. Hey guys, I know I don't show my face that often, but I did want to say that I really appreciate uh, all you subscribers still being subscribed to me even though I don't post that often. But this giveaway is basically for you guys because Arteza had already sent me gouache uh, tubes and I did want to um, uh, just give out the ones that they sent me this time. And um, yeah, so check the description below for that. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, don't forget to uh, check out their their affiliate link I left in the description, and that will really help out my channel if you purchase anything. Um, but yeah, thank you all. I love you all. Bye.